Dear students and viewers, uh, this is a teacher from Morogoro, Tanzania. Uh, my name is Mwachahe Mtua. I'm teaching English language form for students. As today I'm going to introduce a new topic of reading literature work and a subtopic of uh, theories for literature. Please can you join with me from the beginning up to the end. So as uh, to reveal or to start together our things which are still found within a concept of literature. Please join with me. Now, before I proceed, uh, there are things in which your students must recognize at the end or uh, by the end of a session. Uh, number one, uh, the concept of literature, original of literature. Uh, parts of literature, uh, types of literature, and the roles of literature. Now, uh, before I proceed, now I would like to start with the concept of literature. Uh, in a simple way, uh, literature refers to a work of art uh, which uses it to express all realities which are still uh, formed for a particular society, uh, like uh, uh, conflict, political, uh, policies, poverty, religion, tribalism and all things which you know are that you are still uh, surrounding a human being in general we call it a part of literature now i want to refer on the screen there uh, literature is the work of art which uses language uh, to express social realities like poverty corruption disease raw technology uh, poor technology high technology or advanced technology education and all things which are still uh, abiding for particular society now, that is number one. Oh, in other two, number two, uh, literature refers to the work of art, which uses language uh, creatively or skillful to reveal all the human being activities in daily life. All things which are still uh, surrounding a human being are to see the part and the parcel of uh, literature. Thank you. Now, oh, number two, uh, number three, uh, literature also is the mean of the society in which it is produced. To miss that, uh, literature is like a mean of the society. Like, maybe take an example. Uh, always uh, we are still using a mirror to display our own uh, image or the uh, image within a, within a mirror. So once you display, uh, let's say you are, you are, you are picture through a mirror, we call it to, to see the part and the parcel of literature too. So far, uh, I'm sure that uh, all of you or all of us nowadays we are still using a mirror. Once you see on the blackboard, uh, there is a picture of a mirror, maybe uh, which uh, let's say always we are still displaying, displaying our image. So in that way too, uh, literature uh, can stand as a mirror for displaying all things which are still occurring in our daily life. Now, another concept, uh, literature is the imaginative work of art, which uses language to express social reality, imaginative or imaginary. It means that, uh, let's say, imaginative means that all things which are still found within a particular society. Maybe, take an example, a person or a writer can use, uh, let's say, imaginary uh, to send his own information uh, to the particular society. I'll take an example, maybe, a simple way. Once you study a newspaper from an in Tanzania, always there is a person who calls it Masudi Kipanya, drawing different cartoons for the purpose of sending different information to the general society uh, in Tanzania and outside of Tanzania. That we call it imaginary system or imagine a way uh, for sending the, the realities or things which are still uh, are surrounding a human being in daily life. Now, as you can see, there is a picture of cartoon. Uh, it shows that like maybe a person or a politician who is still a selfish uh, within his or a particular society. Now, generally, <laughs> very wonderful, my dear students, very marvelous. A general literature is the record of all things uh, that uh, surround a human being in each aspect of their life. Well, in a simple way, we can call that uh, literature refers to all things which are still surrounding a human being, uh, like mountains, uh, people, uh, places, um, all things which are still uh, 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 happening in our daily life, that we call it uh, literature. Thank you very much. Once you see on the screen, there is a, uh, let's say it is like a recorder. Recorder means that a natural recorder, which is still recording all things which are still happening in our daily life. Now, 
And now let us go to see the origin of literature. Uh, the word literature comes from Greek word, which means a letter or handwriting. It means that uh, these Greek people are the one uh, who, was who, 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 who was originated the word literature, so as to reveal all things which are still uh, surrounding a human being in your daily life. Now, uh, now let us go to see the parts of literature. Uh, we have only two parts of literature. Number one, there is the form. Number two, there is the content. A uh, simple way, uh, form it means that it refers to the superstructure or structure or the style of uh, maybe the way how uh, something can be occurred within uh, the society. Or oh, content too, it means that it refers to what is conveyed within a book. Now, once you see on the screen, there, are, there is a part of research. As you can see, uh, yourself with your the eyes, my dear students, uh, there is, these are forms. Uh, form, forms, uh, it means that the parts of research. There is a forms and a content. So far, now let us go uh, to describe each one by one. Now, I would like to start with the form. As I was already told you, that uh, the form refers to the superstructure of literature work. Example maybe, uh, something is said or, or arranged in or form, it means a structure, superstructure, or how maybe a uh, certain thing can occur within a society. Maybe take an example maybe, you have a glass, you have a glass at home, that wants to take a piece, maybe a, a cup, a cup, a, a glass within your hand, which does not have anything within a within, within, within glass, we call it a form. Or maybe once you put uh, water within a, within a glass, we call it a content. So far, uh, glass and the water are things which are inseparable in our daily life. But uh, once you see maybe uh, within within a form, there are different things which are uh, which are which are, uh, are define a form in our daily life. Number one, there is the plot. Uh, plot, style, uh, setting, language, or diction. Character and characterization. Now, now we can we start with the plot? Uh, if the let's say is how something can be arranged, our organization of events or incidents are uh, within a play, novel and poetry. Maybe once you study uh, a book of the beautiful answer not yet born, which was written by I Queen Amai Diana. Uh, the way maybe uh, he arranged uh, his work within a novel, we call it a plot. Or in other way too, we can say uh, as like uh, chapters or pages which are still found within a novel. We call it a plot. Or maybe for those uh, who have a garden in that home, the way you you are you are you are you are uh, the plot uh, maybe of planting the vegetables, we call it a plot. Our arrangement of things are uh, within within your daily life. Now, that is number one plot. Or in another way, uh, it was the sequence uh, of events in a play. Sequence or arrangement of events or a list of events which are still found within a book. Maybe, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, once you study a, a book which was written, uh, a book of the Black Hunt, which was written by Ngongi of Theo in Kenya. Uh, once you see uh, those chapters which are still uh, arranged within a book, we call it a plot. But once also you start a book uh, about it, the lion and the jewel, it has got a three sequels during the morning, afternoon, and the night. So it means that it are uh, events which are arranged within a book. Now, now let us go to see the issue of setting. Dear brothers and sisters, this is how we enjoy our literature. Now, uh, setting to me so that you are referred to a place where a book was made. Now, example maybe you can take, uh, uh, let's say, a poem of the wonderful surgeon which was made by own Charlie Tanzania Charles Mloka. It was made in Yerusha Tanzania. Uh, with the content for the purpose of sending the information to the majority about the spread of HIV uh, within Tanzania and outside of Tanzania. Or maybe once you start also let's say a book of uh, Spain, which was also made in Tanzania too. Or once you start to the book of the beautiful arm, uh, the beautiful was not yet born, which was written by I Queen Am, it was uh, maybe in Ghana. Or in the other way too, uh, once you study a book of a man of the people, which was written by Chino Achebe in Nigeria, it means that it shows you a place or a setting uh, where a book was set.
Now, as you can see on the screen, uh, listening as I told you that uh, there is a beautiful poem which was made by our fellow Tanzania or our blood child in Tanzania, Charles Mloka. Uh, like we can see Tanzania in Arusha there, uh, where Buku, our poem was made for the purpose of sending the information concerning the spread of HIV AIDS. Uh, maybe it means that each one should take care uh, so as to prevent the transmission or the spread of HIV in Tanzania. Now, another one there is a characterization or character. I pass on in a story. Now, uh, maybe an example wants to read a book about an enemy of the people, uh, which was written by Chino Achebe. Uh, the main, uh, main character is Chief Nanga. Oh, once you read to a book, a play which was written by Google, a film of the Black Hamlet, uh, we have, there is a main character we call it uh, Lemmy, the one who was lamenting, or the one who was a Hamlet, or the one who was living away or far away from his home village. We call it a person or a character. Or maybe once you read the poem uh, which was written by a court pivotal in Uganda, uh, there is uh, two characters which we call Lawino and Okoro. Lawino uh, tells about the African culture, while Okoro inserts the African culture in general. That is how a character or a person can be described within a book or within a poem. Now, as my dear brother and sister, and you see on the screen, there is a beautiful picture for that. Uh, that is how our uh, characters uh, should be shown or described uh, within, within a book. Thank you very much. Now, another thing that is the style. Uh, it means a simple way the way of doing something. Maybe as a student, maybe uh, you, have, uh, you have your own style of reading, maybe always. Or in the other way, put a, a timetable. Maybe once maybe you are at home there, and maybe you read it during maybe during a night you call it a study. Or maybe once maybe also you are still at school and uh, you have your own study maybe of reading or listening to the teacher or making a summer of reading to call it a study. So far, maybe once you refer within your book uh, in short and simple way, uh, each writer has got his own style of sending or writing a handsome message or content to the particular majority. Maybe another, maybe uh, let's say, maybe uh, one writer can be different from another writer. One man can write from evening, uh, afternoon, or morning. And another one maybe can start from morning, uh, afternoon, or uh, evening. Another one can start from afternoon, evening, and they come up with the morning. We call it a style of writing. Uh, maybe, example, a writer can use a narrative style to send a message or ideas to the society. We call it a style. Now, now let us go to see about the language or diction. It means that a choice of language, maybe, which a writer can use uh, to send a message, ideas, or views, or attitude to the particular majority. Maybe which language a writer can use to send his or her ideas? Is it a simple language, or a complex language, or a neutral language, or a complex language, or the mix is between a simple one and a difficult one? Now, now brother, once you read a poem which was written by Koti Pibitek, which tells about the women that call, show that a writer or a poet used a difficult language or he makes the language with his correct type of north in Uganda. It means that there is a simple language and a difficult language too. Because maybe you are not a, a correct type. It means that it, 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 will, it will lead a different way to you, the way how to translate that language too. In a simple way, once you study a poem which was written by Joy Korea Itimo, I show that a poet used a simple language to send a millions of messages and the content to the particular uh, people, special readers, whom they are so very selfishness and are still creating classes within our society in general. That is how a language may be, or a writer can choose a language uh, to send his or her feelings to the particular majority. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Now, now another example would be. Uh, from a book of the beautiful ones are not yet born. A writer used a difficult language. 
as maybe once you already found in that book, and it was so near after the independence of Ghana, uh, and my president, uh, let's say, uh, 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 Kufo Ado, who was uh, let's say a leader within a uh, within a uh, cabinet in a, uh, in a, in a Ghana. That is how uh, I write the use of the language. Okay, another one too. There is a symbolism. That means that something stands for something. Maybe once you go up to the toilet, there is a picture for more description which shows women and men. And if your brother and sister show that everyone he or she is aware of this. Once you see uh, on the screen, uh, there is a picture of, uh, of a zebra which shows a person is crossing. Also, maybe you can see also the, uh, another picture. There are pictures uh, which shows uh, a symbolism between a man and a woman. It means that it stands for something, especially at the toilet too. Thank you very much, my dear brother and sisters. Now, uh, now let us go to see about the content. Content uh, sure that it refers to what is being said or conveyed within a book. Maybe once you read a poem of Building the Nation, uh, which was written by Christopher Henry Mwanga Baru in Uganda, it means that a main content he is still addressing to the people of Africa. It is about selfishness. Uh, this is that, uh, and the favoritism which is still uh, used uh, by, the, by the different leaders uh, by using their relatives uh, or in different offices that we call it uh, a content. Now, oh, in another way, too, is something which is uh, written or spoken within, within a book. Example, in a book, article, program, and speech uh, that we call it uh, a content. Oh, in another way, too, content defines what is described. Or expand in the work of art or literature, according to a content. Now, once you are maybe uh, sure that you are, thank you very much, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, for listening to me. Uh, sure that uh, we had it together uh, for listening and uh, maybe analyzing the summary about uh, theories of literature. Maybe. Uh, for more information, uh, please can you visit uh, through our channel, Teka TV in Morogoro, Tanzania, uh, in a Twitter, or in a Facebook, and uh, Instagram. Now, now let us go to continue uh, with the content within a book. Content included the following things. Number one, there is the theme. Uh, two, there is the message, philosophy, uh, climax, crisis. And the plural. Now, now let us go to see the types of literature. Uh, there are two many types of literature, which are or literature or traditional literature, and written literature or modern literature or current literature, which is still expressing maybe through a written form. Now, as you can see on the screen, uh, means that a uh, simple way of literature is the way how a person uses his or her mouth to deliver information to the particular majority. As you can see on the screen, uh, there is a picture of a mouth, the way how a human being uses his or her own mouth uh, to express his or her own views, attitude, knowledge, and ideas from one uh, person to another person. Now, that is called the oral literature. Characteristics of oral literature, it is dynamic. Now, it is, it, it is changing one a bit, it is changing daily. What is simple to change because at the volume are the use of mouth. Number two, it is cheap. How it is cheap? Because at the volume both are the educated person and the non educated person within a particular society. Now, it involves all people, both educated one, non-educated one, or maybe the, the, the older one, the youth one, uh, well, that is called a, a characteristic of oral literature. A form of oral literature. Now, oral literature involves uh, various forms, like a uh, folktale, a uh, regency, myth, fables, anecdotes, ballads, and sayings. Uh, now, now let us go, let's see, can you see a picture on the screen, uh, the way how forms of literature can be appeared, 
like uh, as you can see, uh, this one is a folk tale, uh, legend, uh, sayings, ballads, myth, and uh, anecdote. Oh, so far, these are all things oh, which are forms uh, uh, or literature in general. Now, can we start uh, describing or explaining one after another? Now, a uh, fact means that uh, in a simple way, uh, these are uh, oral traditions which are handed from one generation to another generation. Maybe take an example. There are some here says in our society that uh, here in society in Iringa they are still eating uh, dogs. Means that these are folk tales which are still inherited from one generation to another generation. Or once maybe you go to a lesson named Tuara there, they say that uh, those Makonde are still eating the Red Sea. It means that these are here says, uh, which maybe are passing from one generation to another generation. So far, uh, maybe this is how a folk tale can be expressed uh, within a particular society. So far, it is there uh, they in their very life, there for the purpose of expressing uh, the culture of a particular affinity group. Maybe, oh, let's say there is other here say too that uh, a, 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 let's say a big luggage should be given to the Sukuma society in 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 these are have some here says because the Sukuma people they always use the uh, well, they are still using a bicycle uh, within their daily life. That is how a folk tale can be uh, uh, expressed within a society. Now another one there is a religion stories and these are stories uh, from the past that are believed by many people. But can it be true or not true? Maybe uh, these religions means that the past famous people in a particular society. Maybe, for example, once uh, you find Tanzania, we have a legend Julius Kabarage Nyerere, uh, the first president of the United Republic of Tanzania, uh, who, was 40, uh, who was 40 for, the, uh, for our only uh, independence in Tanzania, and the Tanganyika was got to the independence in 1961. We call it, uh, this one is a legend too. So the other way too, once you refer to the chief from Kwawa for Iringa who fought within the hey, resistance against the German, we call it the legend. Oh, once you too, once you go in Songea, uh, to the Majimaji Maji war which was under uh, uh, Prophet Kijakitire Mware in 1905. Also, these are the legend which, which are still found within our society. Oh, in the other way too, once you go in Tabora, there is a chief from Milambo. In Morgoli, there is a, a, a chief from Mambungo from Sovero. In Kenya, there is a Mamau movement too, which was a Mededa Nikimasi. We call this a regency one who was occurred uh, for that period within our life. Now, that is uh, about a uh, regency within, uh, within our society. Now, another one that like the myth means that these are stories which explain a natural phenomena or disaster that occurred to the society for a long time ago. But it can be true or not true. Means that uh, it can be a non fiction or a fiction. Means that uh, there is no clue uh, within it. those maybe a myth. Maybe uh, someone can tell you that, uh, let's say, uh, last year there was a certain disease to me, so that we call it a natural phenomenon. For example, maybe the story of these photos and hair, the town mouse and the ant and the grasshopper, we call it a natural phenomenon. Now, number two, uh, another one that is an anecdote. These are stories given for the purpose of amusing or interesting the society or entertaining the society or majority for a particular area. Example, maybe if two people are discussing about a cat and a dog, that is quite whatever they call it, it is a purpose of amusing or entertaining the majority for a particular society. Another one, there is a ballad. These are stories that are some three points. Oh, is a poem which tells the story in simple language. Maybe once we find Tanzania, where we have someone in Mission Porto still uh, singing different poems uh, while walking without your shoes. We call these uh, ballads. Uh, let's say, sing 
the seeing the different points for the purpose of giving the information to the different leaders in Tanzania and the federal and the majority in Tanzania too, within Tanzania that is outside of Tanzania, we call it this Abarat Sipoy. Now, another one that is the same, see, I mean, that these are simple things which are, are maybe are given for the purpose of educating or informing the society. Example maybe uh, once you see within it there are different uh, examples within it, this sex. Whip and um, whip and whip and whip alone means that you don't hurt any person because you are still living in the world of karma. Whatever maybe you do today, uh, it will do to you tomorrow too. So uh, be humble uh, to let me live with the people in harmon and live with people in a good way because one day it will be pretty to you too. Another another example. Slow, slow, but sure. It means that it go slow, uh, so that you will be uh, going in a good way. Now, but now that there is no gain without pain, it means that anything you must struggle. As like you are students, you are still struggling, studying hard day after day, resting in your daily life. So that at the end of the examination, you to get a good result within your examination. Now, uh, thank you very much, my dear students and viewers. Uh, this is about uh, the theories of oral literature. I'm uh, sure that you enjoyed your lesson. I would like uh, to, 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 to end here my session, and in the next session, I will be explaining more about your written uh, literature. Now, you were with me, uh, uh, teacher, to um, a uh, English teacher in Morogoro Tanzania. So far, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, please uh, stay focused. I will be back soon at the next session. Thank you. NLAB Innovation Academy inatangaza nafasi za masomo ya information technology kwa ngazi ya certificate na diploma kwa wanafunzi waliomaliza kidato cha 4, kidato cha 6 na chuo NTA Level 3. Chuo kipo Kinondoni Vijana jijini Dar es Salaam. Zaidi ya kusoma, mwanafunzi anapewa nafasi ya kuanzisha mradi wa kiteknolojia pamoja na kupatiwa mentor wa kumwongoza. Pia tunamsaidia mwanafunzi kutafuta scholarships pale anapohitimu. Tupigie leo 0677071 Nene